In this video, we'll show how to use these simple DMX transceivers with the LumiBoost LED driver and how to control them with the 54-channel wireless DMX console. For easy mounting to the air module, the transceiver can be velcroed to the back. To protect the GH connectors, the cable can be strain relieved by zip tying it to the holes in the aluminum plate. When powered on, the light on the transceiver should be red. The color indicates the channel that the transceiver is on. Pressing the button will change the channel group. This is useful for when multiple groups of transceivers are used simultaneously. The colors correspond to the following channels, which can also be set on the wireless DMX console. For our purposes, we'll just keep it set to red. If the transceivers are not receiving any DMX signal, the status lights will be solid. A flashing red status light means the device is transmitting, and a flashing green status light means the device is receiving. For the first example setup, the LED module on the right will be acting as the primary, and the others as the secondary. When the DMX mode is set to primary, the LumiBoost reads any type of dimming input signal and converts it into a DMX signal, which is then output through the DMX connectors. In this case, the initial input signal is coming from the ESP-01 Wi-Fi module. It allows for dimming control via the LumiBoost app. The primary LumiBoost then reads the signal from the ESP-01 and outputs it through the DMX connector to the wireless transceiver. When the unit is transmitting, the LED will flash red. The other LumiBoosts have their DMX modes set to secondary and are therefore not outputting any signal. In this case, the transceivers connected to them automatically go into receiving mode. Once they start to receive a DMX signal from the transmitter, the lights will flash green. So in this setup, the primary LumiBoost is receiving a signal from the smartphone, and the wireless transceiver is broadcasting it to all the other transceivers. Each LumiBoost is assigned a unique DMX address. In this case, they are set to 1, 2, and 3. This allows for individual control of each module. To demonstrate that this works with any input method, we've attached a potentiometer to the analog input pin on the primary LumiBoost. As you can see, the primary LumiBoost is converting the analog signal into a DMX signal and sending it out to the other LumiBoosts via the DMX transceivers. In this case, there is only one channel being input and output, so all the other LumiBoosts will need to be on DMX channel 1. These transceivers can also be used with the wireless DMX console. The console can be used to manually control up to 54 DMX channels and create pre-programmed scenes. All the LumiBoosts will need their DMX modes set to secondary. To control each module individually, each LumiBoost will need to be assigned a unique DMX channel. To enable wireless control on the console, press the Wi-Fi button. The blue light will turn on. To manually control individual DMX channels, Press button B so that the project is set to 1. Now, the channel sliders should correlate to DMX channels 1 through 6. To access more than 6 DMX channels, use the up and down buttons to adjust the project number. There are 9 possible options, with 6 channels per option, making 54 channels total. For example, if the project number is set to 2, slider 1 will adjust DMX channel 7, and slider 2 will adjust DMX channel 8, and so on. To set up a simple DMX scene, press button A for 3 seconds to enter programming mode. Make sure program and project are both set to 1. Then adjust the sliders to the desired position and press insert. This will save the channel positions and increment the scene to 2. You can then adjust the sliders to new positions and repeat. Once you have your desired number of scenes set, press button A for 3 seconds to exit programming mode. Select program 1 by pressing button A. The console will then cycle through the scenes, and the speed and fade can be adjusted by the first two sliders. These DMX transceivers can also be used at the head of a hardwired DMX daisy chain. This aerial array 
as each module daisy changed together via the DMX in and out ports. On all the modules, the DMX mode is set to secondary, and the DMX channel is set to 1. This allows all 10 modules to be controlled in synchronous from the console. If the DMX channels on each module were to be set to unique values like 1 through 10, each one would be individually controllable from the console. But currently, each module is on channel 1, so they're all controllable as one DMX fixture. For more information, check out stratusleds.com.